the Lucchese crime family's New Jersey faction, also known as the Jersey Crew, is a powerful faction within the Lucchese crime family. The faction operates throughout the northern New Jersey area. During the 1970s into the late 1980s, the faction was led by Anthony Axetchuro and his protege Michael Tuxeda. In 1987, Victor Amuso took over the family and began demanding a higher percentage of tribute from the faction. Axetchuro refused and a war erupted between the New Jersey faction and the New York faction. This left brothers Michael and Martin Trixetta in charge of the faction as they tried to have Axetchuro and his family murdered. In 1993, Axetchuro defected and became a government witness. He helped convict Michael and Martin Tuxeda. Today the faction is controlled by Ralph Perna. History Early history The New Jersey faction was recognized as a bootlegging crew under Gaetano Reina's crime family. Throughout the Prohibition era the crew smuggled alcohol into New York City. In 1930, Reina was murdered and his family was taken over by Tommy Galliano. During the 1940s and early 1950s, the faction was headed by Sedimo Accardi in Newark. In 1953, Accardi's U.S. citizenship was revoked after not disclosing his previous arrest record. Accardi was arrested in 1955 on narcotic charges and fled the country. With Accardi's absence Anthony Delasco and Joseph Abay took over running the New Jersey faction. Accetchero in charge toward the 1970s, the faction was unofficially headed by Anthony to Mac Accetchero, because Accetchero had not yet been inducted into the Lucchese crime family due to closed books. The leader of the faction was still Joseph Abate, with Anthony Accetchero as his protege waiting to take over. The faction then came to control the entire Newark area, with loan sharking, illegal gambling, narcotics, money laundering and extortion operations. Reportedly, with Axetchuro in charge of the crew, they handed something between $70,000 and $80,000 a year to Tommy Lucchese. Upon Lucchese's death in 1967, and several years of different acting bosses such as Carmine, Mr. Gribbs, Tremonti and Ettore, Eddie, Coco. At the end of 1973, when Anthony Corallo was released from prison, he was quickly installed as boss. Corallo, a longtime friend of Axetchuro, quickly inducted Axetchuro and his second in commands Michael, Mad Dog, Tuxeta and Martin Tuxeta into the Lucchese crime family, so they could officially control the entire New Jersey area. Axetchuro and Tuxeta during the early 1970s, Axetchuro relocated to Miami to avoid prosecution for his illegal gambling and loan sharking business in Newark and Michael Tuxeda was soon promoted by Axetchuro to run the day-to-day -day activities. Meanwhile, Axetchuro created illegal operations in Florida where he could lie low from law enforcement. Tuxeda soon expanded Axetchuro's former operations in New Jersey as the crew grew stronger, and several members of the Lucchese crime family in New York were sent to win over the moneymakers. Tuxeda developed an operation that soon controlled the entire New Jersey area. From arson and burglary, to loan sharking and extortion, to illegal gambling and drug trafficking, the Jersey crew soon made millions of dollars in profit, and sent hundreds of thousands of dollars back to Anthony Corallo in New York City for years. Both Axetchuro and Tuxedo soon became the most powerful mobsters in New Jersey. Axetchuro was repeatedly indicted and the state of New Jersey tried to extradite him but failed due to his poor health. Axetro later relocated his business interests to Miami and Hollywood, Florida, but still remained the official boss of New Jersey. Michael Tuxedo was chosen once again to run the northern New Jersey faction of the Lucchese crime family during the mid-1970s. Toward the late 1970s, the crew allegedly earned something between $700,000 and $800,000 in profit every year. Operating in Philadelphia in 1980, the longtime Don of the Philadelphia crime family, Angelo, Gentle Don, Bruno, was shot and killed on March 12, 
This resulted in a huge power vacuum between prominent Bruno members Philip Testa and Nico Demo Scarfo, both fighting for the total control of the Bruno crime family. Accetero and Ticetta, on the other hand, used their situation to establish a new foothold in Philadelphia, as a part of the Jersey crew, with illegal gambling and loan sharking operations. Because of the bad relations between the two factions in Philadelphia's crime family, as well as both Turkseta and Accetuo taking advantage of the situation, the relationship between Philadelphia and the New York families, especially the Lucases, eventually turned worse after the murder of Angelo Bruno, which led to all cooperation between the families being completely terminated. It was around this time that prominent Bruno member Giacomo, Jackie, Di Norcio, and many others, defected to the New Jersey faction of the Lucchese crime family to make more profit and to avoid being killed. 21 months in trial during the early 1980s, U.S. law enforcement started an operation to terminate all organized crime activities in the North Jersey area. After a four-year-long investigation was finished, indictments were brought against 20 members of the Jersey crew. Accetero was brought from Florida. The Tixetta brothers were arrested in Newark, and 17 other known members were put on trial for 76 racketeer-influenced and corrupt organizations act RICO predicates, which included loan sharking, extortion, racketeering, illegal gambling, money laundering, drug trafficking, arson and thefts, as well as murder and conspiracy to commit murder. The trial began in late 1986, early 1987. During the trial, Former member of the Philadelphia crime family Giacomo, Jackie, Di Norcio fired his lawyer and went on to represent himself during the entire trial. Although not popular with Accetuo and Tuxeda, Di Norcio is reported to have charmed the jury. On August 26, 1988 all 20 defendants were acquitted in the 21-month trial. The prosecutors were stunned, and the Jersey crew went right back to where they had left off. The Tixel era even with the acquittals, the authorities eventually managed to split up the Jersey crew when Michael Tuxedo grew jealous of Anthony Axetchuro, Jr., who was supposed to take over for Anthony Axetchuro upon his retirement. The Tuxedo brothers reportedly declared war on Axetchuro, who had escaped to Miami to avoid being killed. Although the war never got to a point of massive shooting in the streets, the two factions were close to killing and destroying each other completely in late 1988. The crew had other problems, however, when the Lucchese crime family was given new leadership under Vittorio Vic Amuso, who stepped up after Corallo. New York rivalry toward the year of 1989, the Jersey Crew's war had diminished because the two factions were more interested in making money than in arguing about who was in charge. The new leaders were reportedly Michael Tuxeda and Martin Tuxeda, who operated through their legitimate business, Tuxeda Group Enterprises, which was under control by the Lucchese crime family. Through the company, the Jersey crew were able to launder money and pay their tribute to the heads of the Lucchese's in New York. However, both Axetchuro and Tuxeda had apparently skimmed off some profit and only sent a $50. 000 a year payment to the new leaders from the Brooklyn faction. When Anthony Corallo was sentenced to life imprisonment in 1987, and his protege Anthony Buddy Luongo was found murdered earlier, the new bosses Victor Amuso and Anthony Gaspipe Castle, known for their brutal use of violence, questioned the profit they received from the Jersey crew. When they demanded 50% of the crew's total profit, both Truxetta and Axetchuro reportedly refused, portraying themselves as hard-working money machines that were only having a bad year. Amuso and Castle, on the other hand, saw this as an act of weakness, and gave the order to whack Jersey, meaning that the entire North Jersey faction should be eliminated. Summoned to a meeting in Brooklyn with Victor Amuso and Anthony Castle, the entire North Jersey faction, who were fearful of being massacred, went into hiding, disrupting their illegal activities. Over the next 12 months, most of the New Jersey crew members came back to the family, 
Amuso is to have portrayed Axet Choro as a distrustful servant who was betraying his boss. Tichetta reportedly sent messages to Amuso in Brooklyn asking that a contract to be placed on Axet Choro's life so Tichetta could control the entire New Jersey faction. Tichetta's arrest and trial in the early 1990s, with a murder contract on his life, Axet Choro was placed under federal protection after being extradited from North Carolina to New Jersey. During this time, Axet Choro had little power over the New Jersey faction. He had been reportedly stripped of his rank and demoted him to soldier. The Tixetta brothers also had problems with their longtime rival Thomas Ricciardi, who was trying to take over the faction. In 1992 the entire Cruz administration Anthony Axet Choro, Michael and Martin Trixetta, Thomas Ricciardi and Michael Perna were indicted on racketeering, loan sharking, extortion, illegal gambling, drug trafficking, murder and conspiracy to commit murder. In 1993, when the trial began both Axet Choro and Ricciardi decided to defect to the government and turn state's evidence testifying against Michael and Martin Trixetta, and Michael Pernod. On August 13, 1993, the jury convicted all three men of racketeering, and Martin Tuxeda was sentenced to life in prison. Michael Tuxeda and Michael Perna later pleaded guilty and were sentenced on September 20, 1993, to 25 years in prison each. In 2005, Martin took Seto on an appeal and regained his freedom, but in July 2009 the New Jersey Supreme Court reversed the lower court decision and upheld his life sentence for racketeering and extortion. Rich Hardy went into the Witness Protection Program and revealed that the Racketeer Influenced and Corrupt Organizations Act Rico case in 1988 ended the way it did because the jury had been rigged. Operation Heat on December 18, 2007 32 members and associates of the Lucchese crime family's New Jersey faction were arrested on gambling, money laundering and racketeering charges. The arrest resulted from the investigation, Operation Heat and alleged that the New Jersey faction ran an illegal gambling operation that earned approximately $2.2 billion over a 15-month period. It also revealed that members of the Lucchese family's New Jersey faction had an alliance with a New Jersey corrections officer and members of the Nine Trey Gangsters, a set of the Bloods, to smuggle drugs and prepaid cell phones into East Jersey State Prison in Woodbridge. Those arrested were New York Capos Joseph Napoli and Matthew Madonna, New Jersey Coppa Ralph V. Perna, his three sons Joseph M. Perna, John G. Perna and Ralph M. Perna, Martin Trixetta, Michael A. Seda, deceased 2013, John V, Blackie Mangrella, Alphonse Tick Gitaldo, deceased 2013, Antonio Curly Russo, Elliot Porco, Johnny John Iacovo, James Furfaro Jr., John Antari, Anthony Tony Patrizio, Michael T. Ramuno III, Robert A. Romano, Ron Scripps. The prison smuggling scheme involved Michael T. Mac Bruinton, former corrections officer, Edwin B. Monty Spears, Dwayne E. Spears, Samuel A. Giuliano, deceased 2012, Francine Hightower, and Kristen A. Gilliam. Summonses were issued for Blarim Ibrahimi, George May Irano, Vita Seda, widow of Michael Seda. Rosanna Perna, wife of Joseph Perna, Wayne Cross Jr., David Ocejo. On May 14, 2010, 34 members and associates of the Lucchese crime family's New Jersey faction were indicted on gambling, money laundering, and racketeering charges. From the original 32 arrested in 2007, Wayne Cross Jr., David Osejo, and Astrid Hani were excluded from the indictment. The indictment did name Nico Demo Scarfo, Jr., Frank Seda, Gary P. Medjur, Michael A. Mafucci, Robert V. De Crescenzo and Charles J. Bologna as new defendants in the case. According to the indictment Ralph Perna, allegedly became top capo of the New Jersey faction of the family when Nicky Scarfo, Jr. was deposed in 2007.
The indictment also stated that defendant Francine Hightower had pleaded guilty in February 2008 to conspiring to launder money in part of the prison smuggling scheme. In May 2011, Johnny Iacovo pleaded guilty to promoting gambling. He was placed on probation and will serve no prison time. In October 2011, Michael A. Mafuji pleaded guilty to promoting gambling and could be sentenced to three to five years in state prison. As of November 2013, three defendants in the case have died of natural causes. Alfonso T. Cataldo died August 21, 2013. Michael A. Seda died June 2013, and Samuel A. Giuliano died March 2012. In May 2015, Robert Di Crescenzo and Charles Bologna pleaded guilty to money laundering and were sentenced to two years probation. Both were arrested in 2007. Case lasted eight years. In January 2016, Ralph V. Perna received an eight-year sentence and his two sons Joseph Perna and John Perna each received ten-year sentences after pleading guilty to running a multi-billion dollar gambling enterprise. Also in January 2016, charges were dismissed against two wives Rosanna Perna, who was Joseph Perna's wife and Vita Seda, whose husband Michael Seda died in 2013. It was also revealed another defendant has passed away Johnny Iacovo. Three other defendants pleaded guilty. Martin Trixetta, John Mangrella, and Matthew Madonna each have been sentenced. Current position in 2004, the New Jersey Commission of Investigation stated that the Lucchese crime family had about 50 members active in New Jersey. The New Jersey faction is currently led by Coppel Ralph Perna, who took over in 2007. In May 2008, Martin Trixetta was indicted along with Gambino crime family Capo Andrew Marola on racketeering, gambling and labor corruption. In December 2009, Trixetta was summoned to a Newark courtroom. On March 9, 2013 Lucchese family associate Johnny Iacovo was charged with seven counts of burglary and was held on $70,000 bond at the Bergen County Jail. On January 26, 2014 Carlo Trixetta, the son of Michael Trixetta was arrested with 65 pounds of marijuana and was charged with possession and possession with intent to distribute marijuana. Historical Leadership Cooper Regimes C. 1920S1955, Sadamo, Big Sam Accardi, fled the country in 1955-1955-1960s, Anthony Ham DeLasco, died c. 1960s1979, Joseph Abate, retired, died in 1994 acting c. 1972-1979, Anthony Axetchuro, became capo 1979-1988, Anthony, to Mac Axetchuro, demoted, imprisoned in 1993 and became a government witness acting c. 1980-1988, Michael Tuxeda, with Michael Perna as his underboss and Martin Tuxeda as his consigliere 1988-1993, Michael, Mad Dog Tuxeda, in 1993 sentenced to life in prison, c.1993-2005, Robert, Bucky the Boss, Caravaggio 2005-2007, Nico Demo Scarfo, Jr., demoted 2007 present. Ralph Perna, arrested in 2007 acting 2007 present. Michael Perna. In popular culture, the 2006 Sidney Lumet film Find Me Guilty chronicles the two year trial of Axet Choro, the Tuxedo brothers, and the other family members. Vin Diesel stars as Giacomo Jackie D. Norcio, who defends himself. According to the Crime Library website, the Jersey crew is the main inspiration of the Dimio crime family in the HBO TV show The Sopranos. Michael Trixetta is probably the inspiration to the leading role of Tony Soprano, as other real-life Jersey crew members can be recognized on the screen. Notes References